Janet Porter is going to be sharing with us. We're at the round table and we are having a glorious time learning, assessing, and growing together in friendship. All of us here, we do this every year. It's been over 30 years. And Janet Porter is my dear friend for many years and she has been a pioneer and she is the one God has used mightily with what's called the heartbeat bill and she has stood strong for the sanctity of human life. So I've asked her to take just maybe take about eight, nine minutes and tell us where are we at in in this whole issue that is so central. So Janet, take it away. Sure. You know, Larry, this is the first interview I've done with you since Roe versus Wade has collapsed to the ash heap of history. It's an incredible moment that we have seen a victory uh, nearly 50 years in coming. Uh, it's phenomenal. And what that means that, is that all the excuses uh, it, 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 Roe versus Wade is gone, and so is every excuse to uh, prevent us from protecting babies. You know, when we first started the whole heartbeat bill effort, uh, they said it was impossible. You know, we had only been involved in regulating around the edges of abortion, and what we did is said, well, let's let's if we can't get them all, let's let's get as many as we can, and we said let's let's use the universal indicator of life, the heartbeat. And said if a heartbeat is detected the baby is protected and so well we we introduced this bill uh and it took almost a decade larry to get this thing through uh it was a lot of losses until uh uh, uh it, we finally saw the victories we've seen now introduced in 14 states excuse me introduced in 30 states passed in 14 states uh including texas where the uh the the sponsor there uh, uh I, I i had the op opportunity to recruit him um he and i'll tell you how i got him he was speaking at an event and he used his time at the podium to present the gospel and i'm like that's my guy i texted the house sponsor got a thumbs up emoji and and uh we ended up saving twenty thousand lives before roe versus wade ever fell to the ground um and so uh we're seeing that what was once the 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 the, the ceiling they said it was impossible the heartbeat bill is now the floor. It's now the bare minimum that's accepted for protection. And, and what we were talking about at the round table yesterday is, is where America is. What, what's going on? What happened? Well, well, we took the George Barna poll, and what we found is that 7 out of 10 in America want to eliminate 9 out of 10 abortions because the heartbeat bill will protect 9 out of 10 babies. Um, that's that's an incredible start. It's not everything, but it is a good start. And uh, when we pass those heartbeat bills, we go back and uh, pass a bill from conception. And that's, that's really where we want to be. We want to protect every child, not only in the womb uh, from surgical abortions, but also from the chemical warfare that's being waged against the unborn. And so that's why I want to make sure that in, in the legislation as we move forward, that we've got uh, language in there that says, as, as many of the heartbeat bills do, that you have to perform a test to determine if a child has a heartbeat, which by the way, they are not doing with the Plan Bs and the RU46. So they're actually in violation of heartbeat laws uh, and other laws uh, around the country. And so where we are right now is we have a, a Republican majority in the US House of Representatives. We have a federal heartbeat bill that has enormous, uh, enormous uh, support. In fact, uh, it was thanks to Tom DeLay, former US Majority Leader who joined with our team, went uh, met with more than 230, 220 uh, uh, congressmen on the Hill. Uh, and we ended up with 174 co-sponsors on this bill uh, back in 2018. Um, and now the momentum has picked up even more so. So it's, it's an incredible time to be a, a pro-life American because there is no longer any hindrance. There's nothing standing in the way of us restoring protection to the children who need it. So yeah, I wrote a book, uh, it's called A Heartbeat Away. Uh, it's the, how the heartbeat bill pierced the heart of Roe versus Wade and how the shocking and the shocking betrayal no one saw coming. And so a lot of times people tell you they're on your side. Well, not everyone is. There's a chapter in there that's a must read for people who are entering into this battle. It's called The Enemy Within. There are people who have labels uh, like right to life that uh, have been uh, working against us. Uh, some have come around, uh, but but some have not. And this is, this is uh, uh, really a 10 year battle of of what not to do, well, we've learned that, uh, and, and what kinds of things can keep this issue alive. I mean, you know, Larry, we've talked in the past about uh, everything under the sun that we did to keep this this issue in the forefront, from the 4,000 heart balloons that we, we launched at the press conference to the three-story high heart balloon that, that we, we uh, put in front of the state house that passed the heartbeat bill now, great big heart. Uh, we rented a plane to fly over the state house. We had kids for the heartbeat bill that handed out little teddy bears when you pushed their stomach that had the 
a, a human heartbeat recorded and 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 the message was 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 resonated and i think probably the most one of the most significant things we did in the state houses and in congress is we brought in the youngest to ever testify we brought in an unborn baby whose heartbeat was seen and heard by members of the committee and what we found in congress in particular uh when we have the hearing you know there's some people there that are disruptive and and they, they you know they try to put up a fight well when little baby lincoln he was 18 weeks old in the womb his heart was beating when that little baby's heart was beating on that monitor uh the entire room was silent all you could hear was that baby's heartbeat and then when we looked over and saw one of the protesters who had been disruptive just a moment before <laughs> she was seen wiping tears from both her eyes and that's when I realized that this baby's heartbeat can reach the hardest of hearts. It's going it's to reach America, and that's what it's done. Janet, let's close by just ask, ask the person that says, well, what can I do? I want to do something. I'm not too sure. I, a, a church, I don't know. They don't always want to get into all these things. But what can I do? Can you help me? Sure. Um, I want to tell you that you don't need an army to do this. Um, there were times in this battle where we filled the state house overflowing and we had rallies. But you know what? There were times in this battle when we had to expose the rhinos who were obstructing the bill. And when I ran against the president of the Senate, not a popular move. There were times when I could count my friends on one hand. And so if you have a couple of people, if you have just even one friend who will stand with you, as I did, um, you can see this thing through. And even if you live in a deep blue state, what I want to tell you, there's a benefit in introducing a bill like this because it's like putting a billboard across your state that abortion stops a beating heart. Uh, it's going to save lives, as we saw in uh, in the committee room, um, where where when we, we brought in the ultrasound, we brought in this little baby, uh, baby Haley, it was nine weeks old in this committee hearing in Ohio, um, we, we saw that this, just the publicity of that baby's got a beating heart, saved a life. Little baby Aiden, uh, as a woman came up to me and said, my friend asked me to drive her to the abortion mill and uh, and I couldn't do it when I found out about this baby's beating heart. And later she shows me a picture on Facebook, just the, this little boy who's alive that wouldn't be. And that was before the bill ever passed. And so even if you live in a dark blue state, um, instead of abortion stopping a beating heart, a beating heart will stop abortion because when that news gets out, even before the bill passes a committee, we can, we can publish publicize the humanity, that, that human heartbeat that is beating like an SOS cry for help. And we're going to answer it because this is what, this is what people need to understand. To deny a heartbeat is to deny science. Um, to ignore it is heartless. And so I just believe this is the first step. If your state can pass a bill from conception, do it. We've got model bills available at f2a.org, faith, the number two, action.org, the shortcut, f2a.org. We've got a model bill from conception. We've got a model bill uh, uh, for, for the heartbeat uh, with the civil penalty so that we can sue to enforce it. Um, it's, 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 and the handbook that shows you how to do it. Um, it it's, it's got a point by point how to do it, all the stories. It reads not like a textbook. It reads like like a novel because it's it's the story of how this thing passed, but in it you can learn how to do it in your state and to see the impossible bow to the name of Jesus because what was once impossible is now inevitable. We're going to end abortion, and if we can end abortion, we can take our country back. So Janet, tell us again the name of the book and your website and where do people go? Sure. And then you pray and we'll close. Sure. You can get it right at faith2action.org, faith2action.org. Uh, and the book is called A Heartbeat Away. Uh, so you'll see it, blue cover, big red heart on there, A Heartbeat Away. Uh, and, uh, and, and that's just, it's a handbook, not only to, to tackle the issues of, of life, um, but also just to, to, to see that we serve the God of the impossible. That's the, that's the motto, the state motto of my home state of Ohio. With God, all things are possible. And it's either true or it's not true. And I'm telling you as a witness, it's true uh, that once you've seen Goliath fall, there's no one who can tell you it can't be done. So so let's pray. Uh, uh, Lord, I just pray a, a, a release of courage that to those that are watching right now, that they would rise up and say, I want my life to count. I want to see the killing come to an end. And Lord, use me. Use me. Whatever the question is, as I say, Lord, the answer is yes. 
your Lord or you're not the Lord. So we just, we just thank you, God, that if you're, you're moving in people's hearts to, to, to introduce a bill like this or, or even a full strength uh, from conception bill in their state, that you would, uh, you, would, you would help them, bring them a team, bring them some who will stand, even just one person who will stand with them, with a sponsor, to go to a sponsor, to introduce this bill in the House or the Senate, um, to get it through and get the publicity that, that that alone will save lives, but a law that will protect them. We pray that in Jesus' name. Amen.